Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a 2003 Toyota Camry uh, six-cylinder. Um, I'm here to record my very first attempt at replacing the AC relay uh, for my car. The symptoms of the problem is uh, the the uh, indicator light would start blinking. And this started happening initially when it would, it would run for a while and then it would stop. And then eventually it just started blinking every time I turned it on. So I thought, hmm, how can I fix this? Well, I, I looked it up online like everybody else does. And I looked for a 2003 Toyota Camry V6. And one of the options said to, is to clean the air filter, which I did. Or replace it. The air, the air filter is here in the glove compartment. Um, it's kind of a mess here right here. Hold on a second. All right, basically, you move the sides of these, you squeeze these in, and, there's a, and it'll release a little pin that'll drop it down further. And there's a little uh, piece. I'm not sure if you can see it from here. There. Where you can. Uh, Detach the actual uh, glove compartment, removing the air filter, which is predominant, which is, I won't do that right now, but it's right behind here. It's, it's easy to spot. Now what I did was I replaced, well, actually I took the filter out and cleaned it, put it back in and started to work. So light was uh, steady. And this other, and this uh, panel here has another problem uh, I'm not sure if it's 2003 Toyota specifically or not, but uh, eventually what would happen is if you turn this on, the lights of the actual display would be off. But everything else would be functioning correctly, it's just the lights would be off. And like kicking the tires, you tap it a couple of times and it would come back on. And I thought that might be an issue. So I stopped, started tapping a few times, then the AC light started to blink again. I was like, oh, great. But no matter what I did, it wouldn't work. I thought, okay, it must be some other reason. So I went online and uh, found that the, there's a little thing called an AC relay, which uh, which pretty much stops working. And in one video, it had the guy replacing or taking the, the relay out of his horn to use for his AC. Now I didn't. I'm not going to do that because I, I actually need the horn. So. I'm going to show you exactly where you need to uh, replace it. Okay. All right. Pop the trunk. If you don't know, it's right there. Pop it. You hear it? You got the car. My hood sticks a little bit. No. Just so you get an idea of where it is. Right by the battery. Okay. I see these little tabs. It's easy, you just push in, it comes right out. It's very simple. What are you looking for? It's that sucker right there in the middle. MG CLT. And yes, that was the one that uh, that other video the guy took the horn relay out. And I just realized I don't have my tools. So I will be right back and we'll show you the rest of this.
Okay, back. I needed to get a couple pieces of equipment, which I had, but it fell in my pocket. And this is the part I got. There are other part numbers based on uh, which companies you get from, so I read part, part numbers you need. So here it goes. All right. That's the part. Okay. Now, I'm going to install a new one. And hopefully, the AC will start working. Just note that the part number is the same, or similar. Okay. The moment of truth. Like other videos where people have probably done this many times, I have not actually done this yet, and we'll see if it actually works. Hopefully, it will work because it is hot in here, and it's been 90 degree temperature, and we would really like the AC to work. So, actually, let me put the fuse box on, the cover on first. Snap. Alright. Here goes nothing. Okay, starts up okay. Turn this off. Okay, here kicking on. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Okay. Now, let's feel the air. Yes, cold air. Very nice. Very nice. This part cost approximately $14 and took me about 5 to 10 minutes tops. Maybe a little extra. I got it uh, from an, a parts place. You can find other parts. I can give you the list of parts on, uh, on YouTube or website of the similar type for 2003 Toyota Camry V6. And yes, nice cold air. Consider this. A part, $14, five minutes versus bringing it to an auto shop that can charge two, three, four hundred dollars in labor. For incidentals, they'll probably replace the filter as well, but they'll say, oh, this is a big job. And sometimes it is. Sometimes they'll find something that this may not necessarily have been uh, an issue. Maybe it's something in the faulty wiring. Because this uh, panel, I know it sometimes has a little short where the lights will, will blink out. So just food for thought. If you're thinking about having to uh, fix the AC, try this first. $14, $15. And there are other parts that are $30. I think AutoZone has one for $30. There are others that are more for the same type of relay. You can do it yourself. It'll just take a five minutes tops. All right, this is uh, Raxian saying 
happy driving.